Hi, my name is Sam Chan and welcome to Tuesdays with Sam Chan. Today I want to talk to you about the primacy of relationships. Primacy of relationships. Have you ever been stopped and asked yourself, how did I get here? How did I become youth pastor? How did I become senior pastor? How, how did I end up directing the worship experience? Uh, how did I become the executive pastor? How did I get here? Oh, your mind might be going to, you know, I went to college and, and then I studied for it and then I made an application for it and I went through the process. No, that's not how you got anywhere. There's only one reason why you are in the room doing what you're doing. It's not the university. It's not being the right place at the right time. You are doing what you are doing because of one thing, relationships. Somebody got you to where you are. You and I are a product of serial relationships. So if this is here, that's where you are sitting right now watching me. I want to tell you there have been series of relationships, 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 relationships. So one person introduced you to the next person, who introduced you to the next person, who introduced you to the next person, and you move from relationship to relationship, carrying all those relationships with you. So if we know that, if we know that where we are is a product of all the people who have brought us, because you're standing tall only for one reason, because you're standing on the shoulders of many. So if we know that, then why is it? Help me understand this now. Why is it that we become so busy in the day-to-day -day grind that we do not invest in relationships? Relationships sitting, sitting around you in the room right now. Relationships on your roller deck. Relationships that you know should be part of your life. Relationships that brought you here. Here's my question for you. So what are you doing to increase your relationship equity? Who are the people that you need to be in relationship with? Who are the people that can assist you in your journey forward? Your competency can be great, but relationships will get your competency noticed in somebody else's eyes. I want you to say to yourself, for the rest of the year, I'm going to make a list of people with whom I'm in relationship with, I'm going to increase my relationship equity, and most of all, I'll be intentional about cultivating relationship. Not just when I need somebody or need something, but when I can add value to somebody else. Genuine, authentic, transparent, trusting relationships are what brought you here. And it will be the same things that will take you to where you want to go. The primacy of relationships.